Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. In the last few episodes, we talked about some of the rewards of heaven, possessions, and experiences. This time, what about the happiness that God gives people in heaven? Is there a chance that it might feel unnatural, like the euphoria from some kind of drug? To find the answer to this question, it helps to know why God's presence makes people happy. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created them. Male and female he created them. Genesis 1.27 God created us in his own image, and because of that he plays a special role in the fulfillment of our happiness. What is it that makes us unhappy? A variety of things. Maybe we're physically uncomfortable. Or maybe we're frustrated that our efforts aren't producing the result we want. Maybe we just take ourselves too seriously or are too concerned with what other people think of us. In any case, the reason for our unhappiness is always that something is missing. It might be as simple as self-control, but more often it has to do with wanting something that we don't yet have. Even if we know that the thing we want isn't obtainable, it can still make us sad to reflect on not having it. Now, here's the curious part. Was there ever something that you really, really wanted more than anything else? Something that you later received? I think that's happened to most people. What happened then? Well, you may have enjoyed it for a while. You may still enjoy it to a degree, but I'll bet you don't think about it as much as you did before you had it. In short, you got used to it, and you moved on to the next thing you wanted. Maybe something new that you didn't even want before. Why is that? Did you not really want that first thing? No, you wanted it. The problem is that the thing you received was only a limited good. It was good, but only in a certain way or within a certain range. It was pleasing, but it wasn't enough to make you truly satisfied, truly happy. All limited goods are like this. However, the goodness of God isn't limited in this sense. What does this mean? Premise 1. Human beings are impossible to truly satisfy with only limited goods. Premise 2. God designed human beings. Premise 3. Only God has unlimited good. Conclusion. Therefore, God designed human beings to be truly satisfied only by himself. We often do our best to search for happiness in this life, and every so often we find something pleasant. That doesn't feel unnatural, because it's not. God put good things into the world so that we could benefit from them. However, it's no less natural, no less in keeping with our nature, to receive our happiness from God directly. In fact, because it's exactly what God wants, it's more natural. Human beings receiving happiness from God is just how he wants it. It's exactly how things ought to be, and there's nothing artificial or drug-like about that. In the words of St. Augustine, You move us to delight in praising you, for you have formed us for yourself, and our hearts are restless till they find rest in you. St. Augustine, Confessions. Next time, what if someone doesn't want to be happy? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.